Whether it's rain or shine, winter, spring, summer, or fall, there are a very select elite list of things that I have with me every time I go out for a run. These are my running essentials. Now the first thing I'm gonna talk about is something I personally feel is important. Maybe not everyone does, but definitely people who train by heart rate do, and that is an accurate heart rate monitor. It's been shown in studies, depending on skin pigmentation or the build of their arm or a variety of other factors, that the optical heart rate on your wrist-based wearable, so your running watch, is not always the most accurate. In fact, a lot of times it is completely inaccurate unless you are wearing it extremely tight on your wrist or kind of pulled up a little bit higher on your arm where it's a bit meatier. I like to look at my heart rate when it comes through threshold training. I like to know what my heart rate is at certain goal race paces so that on race day, I know if I'm kind of going a little bit too hard or maybe I can go a little bit harder. I use a different heart rate monitor separate from my watch. This is the Polar Verity Sense. This is what I use every single day now. I used to use a Garmin chest strap heart rate, but I found that at times this would cut out, it would drop off, uh, but it worked well the majority of the time. It uses a battery that you would use in like a wristwatch, and I just found that the Polar Verity Sense was easier to take on and off. It was a lot more convenient, and it's rechargeable. So the fact that I never have to buy a battery for this is very, very convenient. And what you do is you just kind of put it on your arm like this. You can slide it to wear it around your forearm or higher up on your bicep, and you will get a more accurate heart rate reading. It uses the same technology, that sort of optical sensor that the sensor on your watch will use, but it's more accurate because you can sort of move it to a variety of different places, and it will just read on your watch. Again, this is perfect for people who train by heart rate, like to keep an eye on their heart rate for easy runs or hard runs or workouts. It's a bit more rest assured that you are getting an accurate reading if you use an external heart rate monitor as opposed to the one on your wrist. So that is my first running essential, an accurate heart rate monitor. My second running essential would be the thing I take with me 110% of the time, and that would be a running watch. I've used a variety of running watches before. I've used Garmin's before, but my current favorite is the Koros Pace 2. This is a very lightweight, extremely durable, long battery life, simple, accessible, GPS watch. I found that it's very accurate with tall buildings. I've run city marathons in this where the, the measurements are very precise. I've run races and runs through pretty thick forested areas, and this really gets the job done. I find that even though I do use an external heart rate monitor, if I happen to forget that if I'm traveling, this is one of the most accurate heart rate monitors wrist-based that I've ever used before. I never have to take a charging cord when I travel with this because this one will last anywhere from 8 to 12 days with regular usage when it comes to using that GPS on runs. The thing I have every single run, no matter what, is my Coros Pace 2, my running watch. My third running essential, sunglasses. My preferred brand are Gooders. I've been using Gooders for a couple years now. My personal favorite is the $9 pour over version. Uh, they have nice warm lenses. And I found out the hard way that I, from time to time, will get ocular migraines. So I literally need to wear sunglasses when I go out for a run, especially when it's really sunny or there's sun like shining down on snow. Anything I can control and make less of a nuisance like very bright sun, uh, I'm going to control. And that's one thing you can do with a decent pair of sunglasses and gooders are really cheap. So if you're looking for sunglasses for running, I would recommend gooders. My fourth running essential to sort of go with that whole sun protection theme uh, is a good running hat. I've tried so, so, so many running hats. I would say I have like an, an above average sized head. I wouldn't say I have a huge head. And the Adidas Aero Ready hats, you can find these at like 
discount department stores like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Ross, like 10 bucks for a hat. And this is the best one I've ever found. It fits my head really well. Again, I have a big head. I need a specific type of hat. And this happens to be the one that fits the best. Shields the sun out of your eyes. Whether you have long hair or short hair, can hold your hair back or protect the skin on the top of your head from the sun. Just a really good thing to wear a hat. My fifth running essential, something else that I have trial and errored like crazy are running headphones. And my current favorites are the Shox Open Runs. These are bone conduction headphones. So when you put them on, they don't actually go on your ear. They sit right in front of your ear and then through your bone, it conducts the audio and you can hear it like you would with in-ear headphones. These last pretty long battery-wise. I wouldn't say as long as some headphones, but I've gotten through marathons and long runs with these, no problem. The only issue is if you live in a very loud area with a ton of vehicle traffic, will probably be kind of hard to hear the thing you're listening to. But even on like moderately busy roads, running races with a ton of people around me, these have worked perfectly. And they're definitely the safer option when you consider how dangerous it can be if you are a road runner and you're using in-ear headphones, which I used for years and years and years. I only got these a couple months ago. It's extremely dangerous and being able to be aware of your surroundings is really important and it is a running essential for me because I love to listen to audiobooks, podcasts, music from time to time every time I go for a run. And uh, yeah, I always make sure to bring along my shocks. And my final essential is a running belt. I know some people absolutely hate running belts. I have a variety of models. And again, I've trial and errored quite a few different ones. My favorite one is definitely the naked running belt. That's what I wore in my most recent marathon and definitely offers the most volume of storage possible. You can fit water bottles, soft flasks, gels, a phone, everything you want to in that thing. But usually when I'm training, I just take something simple like a flip belt, which is kind of like a naked belt light. It's a little bit cheaper, but it still has plenty of storage. It sits pretty tight to your body. It doesn't like constrict you or anything, but it gives you a variety of different pockets. You can buy a zipper version, but these just have like little openings throughout it. If you're looking to store your gels or a soft flask or a water bottle or your phone or your keys, something else, whatever it might be you're looking to store, this is a great option to have on you. And I wear these, whether it's winter or summer, they can feel a little bit hotter during the summer, but it's still nice to be able to carry a variety of things with you. So this is my final running essential. And that's everything I have. Those are my running essentials, the things that I take with me every single time I go out for a run. What are your favorite things to take with you? on your daily runs. Let me know down in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Peace.